everyone, welcome back. I'm Carrie and this is Keep It Simple DIY. I have all of the jars that I canned here. I have the blueberry pie filling, the strawberry jam, and I have the barbecue sauce. This is actually quite a bit later. I canned these a week ago and I just haven't had time to get back around to them. I did go through and check them the day after so I knew if I needed to put any in the fridge and they all sealed, which is fantastic. So I am very happy with that. And today what I need to do is clean these and put them away. But I wanted to show you how to check your jars to ensure that they are sealed. Okay, the way I used to check my jars I, that I don't do anymore is I used to pick them up by the lid to see if they were sealed. Now don't do that. That actually is not good for your seal and that could weaken your seal. What you want to do instead is just tap on them. So to check your jars, you just want to tap on them to see if you hear hollow or like a high pitch sound. So that's the high pitch sound. Now this jar is clearly not sealed. It doesn't have anything in it. That's the difference. So we're looking for them all to sound like this or a little bit different because you know the sound will vary or like the pitch of the sound will vary based on how much headspace there is, how big the lid is, what kind of a jar it is. Now I've noticed something interesting that happened with the pie filling. This is a completely different headspace than I'm used to working with. I usually work with one inch headspace but this jam that has a or pie filling not jam that has a higher headspace has a different sound completely. It's sealed. I mean, I can, I know we're not supposed to do this, but I can hold it by it. It sounds like that. So it's not as high pitched as like that, but it still isn't hollow. So that one threw me for a little bit of a loop today, but those are all sealed, which is fantastic. This one, of course, not sealed, nothing. I need to go ahead and wash these. And the way that I wash them is Sometimes I'll just stick them all in the sink, but today I think I'm just going to use a washcloth to wash them. And then this one I'll have to wash underwater because it has pie filling like caked on, which I really should have gotten the day after, but just wasn't in the cards the day after. So let's get to washing these. So now I'm just going to dry off the top so that way they have a little bit of a head start and then I can get around to writing on them. If you write on them too soon, then they won't stick. The Sharpie just doesn't work out. So I've uh, done that before <laughs> quite a few times. Hey Milo. While these dry a little bit, I'm going to clean the rings. label these guys. My marker's dying. Um, I don't remember exactly what day I did though, so I'm just going to pick a day that was close. Um, 23. <laughs>
All right, we have them all labeled. Now is the tricky part. I need to figure out where to put them in the cabinet. So let's go over and look at the canning pantry and see if we can find any room. Hmm, okay, here's what I'm looking at. So I have all of my, everything's kind of, oof, let's see. I've got carrots in multiple places. This carrot, what, did it not fit up there? Typically, this is my broth shelf, my meat, my vegetables, little jars, beans, and then potatoes. And then now there's zucchini in there too. So, hmm, I wonder what should I do here? Um, if you were organizing this and adding those in, what would you do? I'm going to sit and ponder this for a minute and then I will start bringing jars over. Actually, Okay, I didn't realize that wasn't much room there. So I think I can do this. I don't have any extra chicken up above, I don't think. Oh, Milo, that's not. Okay, so I think I got it. I think I got it. We're gonna put the big cork back there. So now I have quite a bit of room. I'm gonna put the barbecue sauce next to the meat because if I make like barbecue pork, they're right there. There we go. I'm just gonna stick that one in front of that. Now I have the blueberry pie filling and I don't have a spot for like fruit because I haven't usually, I don't usually do anything with fruit. So um, I'm kind of thinking, well, I need to can tomatoes. So tomatoes will go there. Oh goodness. Milo. Hmm. Maybe I'll just set them here. This will be their temporary home. We'll have to eat through some things. So let's see here. And I don't have room to stack in here. What do I have back there? This is the sweet, okay. Green beans. This is onion jam. I can put the onion jam with the other onions. The green beans can go right in front of the carrots. Oh gosh, they don't fit. There's mushrooms. Okay, this is not going to be very organized, but you know what? I'm going to get it all to fit in here. Okay, strawberry jam is going to go right in there. not perfect you know what but it is everything's in there at least and it's not over the edge I'm gonna have to do something about the carrots I think I'm gonna just eat some carrots because I'm going to be canning broth soon and I need to be canning my tomato sauce soon so I'm almost thinking that I might have to start putting overflow in my cabinet where I keep my empty jars something like that <laughs> all right Okay, I got all those jars put away, and now I think it's time we give this strawberry jam a taste test. Also, it did set up just perfectly. There is no jam running down there. So I'm gonna open it with this tool here, and this is called a church key. I have two of them. One of them's big and one of them's little. I think I prefer this little one. So I just toasted a piece of sourdough bread that I had in my freezer. I'm just gonna get it. I'm just going to give it a few squirts of a I can't believe it's not butter. Isn't it funny when sometimes you talk and like the words just don't come out? So let's try, ooh, this is a perfect consistency for what I like. I don't like when they're super stiff. So this looks fantastic. Oh, I'm excited. And you know, I don't mind the bubbles in there at all. I think they work out just fine. Okay, look at that. Oh my gosh, that's good. You know, strawberry jam is one of my favorite jams and I think this is even better than any strawberry jam I've ever gotten. Of course, it has so much sugar in it, but it's also not processed, so this is a win.
Now that this jar is open, I need to keep it in the fridge. And so I'm just going to use a reusable plastic lid to do that. And in the fridge it goes. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here and haven't yet, please subscribe. I'd love to see you. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.